that. Chad mentioned there could be some reshuffling along the offensive line. Anything that you could share with us? Reshuffling? Yeah, maybe like with that first group. Or maybe not reshuffling necessarily, but uh, maybe working some guys in and out and see if. No, nothing more than what you've seen. You know, Kaylin Kay could end up starting this week just simply because, you know, Beasley's uh, uh, been a little slow this week. But I think Beasley's going to play. And, uh, you know, we'll see where he is. But he's practiced. He practiced. We've just been uh, putting in with the second group because he hasn't been to full speed. But I think, he, I think he will be by Saturday. I think it's going to be fine and he'll be able to play. But, uh, you know, Kalen has gotten the majority of the first group work. But, but kalen has been playing a lot and, uh, you know, feel confident in him. Guillermo's another one who want to get some, get some good work. Uh, at some point, we got to start getting him in there a little bit. Ryan Norton's been great. I mean, Ryan has been just a, he's been the steady guy in there for us. So, uh, but, you know, same, same guys that's been playing. Uh, Kalen, uh, want to get Guillermo in there. Wish De Stefano was healthy. Uh, you know, Shaq would have, and Isaiah would have been guys that might have gotten in the mix as well. But Isaiah's out, and Shaq's in, and, and Gifts out. So it's really, you know, we got a bunch of guys that could play that aren't necessarily there this week. So uh, it'll be a little different rotation from that standpoint. Do you sense Taj is maybe trying to have a little bit more fun this week? He said, you know, he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. Yeah, I mean, he's. You know, Taj always has fun. Today's his birthday, by the way, yeah. and Joe Gore's birthday, and Kalen Davis's birthday. I mean, what a trifecta. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, Taj is he's fine. He's having fun. He's, 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 just, he's young. You know, he's played I he played a really good game against Georgia and played a quarter and a half against South Carolina State, and 12 days off, and went on the road and had a few misplays and had a bunch of good plays. And, you know, he's just he's got three games under his belt. He's, he's just going to be good, better, and sharper as we uh, move through the year, but I expect him to play great. And that's one of the things we talked about at the practice is, you know, it's a game of execution. It's a game of confidence. You know, and confidence comes from you know, preparation and paying the price. And when you're confident, you're having fun. And when you're having fun, you can do some amazing things. Uh, so, you know, that's that's what I want to see this week. I just want to see some cleaner execution. I want to see like, a team that's confident, a team that's playing with, 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 uh, playing with the confidence and having some fun. Uh, but it's all about us executing at a high level and, and cutting out some of the little miscues that we've been having. And that's all it takes in football. It just takes a couple of a guy here, a guy there, and you know, you got ten guys that did great, graded out plus, 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 and you got one guy and we got a miscue and you know, everybody's booing. Uh, that's football. Seconds are started off really well. Now you got Cooper back. Which one do you feel more comfortable? Shoot, they all level. You know, they all have different skill sets. They do different things. Of the past, uh, you know, yeah, you know, Coop is is uh, obviously we got great confidence in him. Been there. The big thing with him was just him getting his confidence back, and that's why that play the other night was huge. What a what a catch uh, he made for us in a critical time. And I thought that was kind of the, you know, yeah, I've just seen a little skip in his step this week. Uh, you know, so he he's he's he's. Uh, a veteran guy proven that's been there. And then, uh, you know, second year, it's been great for him because he's, he's had to be the guy and he's gotten all this quality experience. Uh, he's fast. Uh, he's more of that wide out type of body, but big enough to bring the tight end presence. Um, and, uh, you know, Daryl is, is Daryl. Uh, he, he, he has a skill set that neither one of those guys have. So there's it's a combination of all those guys. And, you know, the two guys that we want to get going is Leggett and McCullough. Um, and they'll get there. Uh, McCullough's still, still, you know, buying in and uh, figuring it out. Uh, and Leggett is still working his way back to being the confident guy that he was before he got banged up. But, uh, you know, I, I think all those guys are going to make contributions as we go through the year.